Good morning or good evening. I hope you're all going well. I've got another project just um, here um, that I'd like to share with you. Now this is a uh, eight channel LED strip controller. So what we've got here is eight MOSFETs which have been controlled by this ESP32 module. And of course that has got home ESP loaded onto it so we can control it with um, a home assistant and um, very useful little device um, for setting up LED strip lights around your house or um, garden lighting or whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can see it's in a convenient little enclosure so it's very easy to mount and plenty of room to bring cabling in through cable glands and to hook up all your wires in here. It's got a lid so it's good to go outside or you can have it inside or in your roof. Um, it has two fuses this one here and this one here. So if you wish, you can have two separate drivers and it splits down the middle. So this is on that side and, and these outputs are on this side. Or you can have just the one driver and have it looped across to here. Um, and then you can appropriately size your fuses to suit um, what you're running on this board. Um, it, the ESP32 runs off a step-down converter um, from this input here. And it has some service switches. So if you're installing this on a job and you want to make sure that the lights are all connected, you can have a little program in here and just hit the button and it will just run through the lights and you can check that you've got it all connected up properly. Of course, you could use that those switches to do whatever you like, but that's the purpose I put it in there for um, because I intend to use these on jobs um, where I'm installing LED strip lights. Um, one of the unique things about this, or not, I guess one of the features of this board I should say is the the MOSFET gate drivers that are on here. Uh, the gate drivers that I'm using are um, FAN3111 um, drivers and if you come and have a look at our data sheet over here and um, this is the driver that we're using and the variant we're using is the um, E variant which is this one here. Now that one is in non-inverting input only uh, the reason I'm using this one is because we've got the 3.3 um, volt PWM signal coming from our ESP32. I've tested it so far up to 20, 20 kilohertz, um, which is plenty high enough frequency, I think, but I'm sure it will go higher. And um, the reference voltage is 3.3 volts because that's the re reference for the PWM signal. But we can also have a 10 volt coming in to the driver so that it drives the MOSFETs gate at 10 volts. Now that 10 volts comes from if you install a step down board which is designed to be mounted in there. You can not, you can drive it at five, which I've got it doing at the moment. Uh, it's just coming off this um, step down board here. But the idea is that a little step down board here will step the voltage from the driver down to 10 volts and that 10 volts will drive these MOSFETs. Now that means that if you've got cheap uh, MOSFETs from AliExpress, it's, there's much better chance that they're going to work properly because often cheap MOSFETs have a higher um, gate threshold voltage and sometimes the 3.3 volts out of the microcontroller is not quite enough, um, even logic level ones, to trigger uh, the gate properly and they, you have issues with heat and them not turning on properly. Um, with the 10 volts you won't have that issue and in addition to that at 10 volts even logic level MOSFETs um, if you look at their data sheets have a lower RDS on which means you'll be able to have more current going through them and less issues with heat. Uh, now I've been trying this, this board out and it's been working well however um, I would like to put more load through it so I've got to get myself some bigger drivers I was hoping to get maybe a thousand watts passing through and then I'd test it with my thermal imaging camera to see how it handles the load even though a thousand watts is a lot and I doubt I would ever use quite that much load on eight channels of LED strip however I would still like to try it out now this um, uh, first this board this is the first one I made um, it's destined for my house if you take a look over here the plan is to like mount some LED strips around my kitchen along here um, along the footboards 
on there, footboards in the island, and some lights in the pantry. So there'll be a whole heap of channels, um, and I'll be able to control each channel using this one board and, and connect it all into Home Assistant so I can set it up any way that I wish. Um, so um, look out for the next um, for a video that I'll make about that, the process of installing um, the LED strip light, um, selecting what color to use, what um, color rendition index to use. Uh, if you look at this picture here, I'm not sure if it will show up properly, but the downlights that I do have in here are, um, have a color rendition index of 95, which is very high. And I sort of did it to try it out, and I actually have found them to be very good. The light quality is, is much nicer on your eyes. I've, I didn't think that it would be that good, but I am very happy with the decision to put in the high CRI downlights. And so I was going to continue that trend with my LED strip lighting. Um, so look out for that video where I'll talk a bit more about lighting, feature lighting, how to install it, what, um, what drivers to use, what light to, strips to use. Um, so in the meantime, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And um, I invite you to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, home automation, installation of electrical and light, lighting systems. And, autom and hooking up Home Assistant to everything. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Also, one other little thing that um, I'm hoping to receive in the next few days is a new, pro a new, a new little thing I've been working on. This is the second edition. Um, so this is a quick sneak peek. And if you look at this little board here, you might recognize what this is because I have made a video on it once before. Um, this is a cut phase dimmer and it's got a whole heap of extra features in it. So look out for that video too. Thanks once more for watching.